it's just like the big end of season thing. It's something that we train the kids for all season. Um, it's something for them to look forward to. And it's just like the final place for them to show off what we've been working on and how hard they've worked the entire season. For over 25 years, the Naperville Summer Suburban Water Polo League has brought kids across the area together to compete in local club pools, culminating in a season-ending tournament. What began with Naperville High School coaches getting a few teams together over the course of the summer has grown into a rite of passage for the next generation of water polo standouts. Coach Plackett from Naperville Central and myself and a few others got together and started uh, um, just having some teams together to play in Naperville and it kind of grew larger and larger each year. And so the last uh, eight, nine, 10 years, it's been here at Naperville North, and uh, the crowds in the stands are super enthusiastic. The players on the benches are super enthusiastic. It is like being at a section or state meet here at the end. Uh, so it's a great opportunity for those young kids to see what that's like. Three city champions are starting each year in the U11 co-ed, U14 girls, and U14 co-ed. Coaches have been involved long enough to see former players become high school teammates. Two years ago, I was coaching girls that are now on my water polo team at North, so that's really fun to like see them grow. But it's also just fun to see them grow because a lot of them I've been coaching since they were like seven or eight. Like they've been, I've been coaching them for a really long time, so it's just fun to see them to get to this place and be able to win and just see four years worth of growth and all of that. It feels amazing to know that I'm not alone with how I'm feeling and I can talk to someone who knows how it feels. In the 2024 championship games, Maple Brook 2 took home the U11 championship with a 12-7 victory over neighbor Carriage Hill, with Saybrook winning the third place match over the Crest Creek Country Club. The newly formed Crest Creek Country Club and Crest Creek Commons Co-op won the U14 Girls Championship 8-4 over Hobson West. Oakhurst defeated Saybrook in the U14 co-ed championship 13-10. The excitement of bringing a title to your home club means just as much for the coaches as it does for the current players. It feels so great, you know, we lost our 8th grade year Oakhurst because of COVID. So we were just always determined to make sure they get one win. And that's all we wanted, just one big tournament win like this. We finally got it and it just feels great. I feel like our, for, at the beginning of the year it was a little rough, but we found a common thing that we wanted. We wanted to win and we worked together and we pulled together even though some tensions were high. And all together combined, we won. It was teamwork, that's all. Of course with this league dating back multiple decades, there are going to be strong family bonds involved. Oakhurst coach PJ Bartson, who was a standout for Wabonzi Valley Boys Water Polo, was able to coach his younger brother Charlie to championship victory in the U14 co-ed division. I'm so excited. I mean, this is their first big thing in water polo. I mean, a lot of these kids don't do West Sub or don't do all, all these other competitive clubs. And these guys are just here for a couple months just playing water polo. And we try to make it as fun and competitive as we can. And I mean, clearly it showed out how hard the work these kids are putting in this entire time. And I couldn't be more proud of them. They did awesome. Oh, it's amazing. You know, me and him have been through thick and thin. We've been through everything and it's just amazing. We've messed around in practice, getting yelled at by him, getting embarrassed by him because I missed a shot. But ups and downs, we're brothers. It's amazing. It's a surreal feeling. We hugged after the game. It's just great. It's amazing. The most important aspects of the Naperville Suburban Summer Water Polo League is to have fun and grow the game of water polo. With over 500 kids participating in the league this summer, the future looks bright for one of the top areas for the sport in the state of Illinois. It is fantastic to see because they all feed into all five of our high schools, make it, uh, this area one of the most competitive water polo areas in the, in the area, so that's great. I just love seeing the future of water polo and showing all of these kids like my skills and what I've learned. Um, really this is the time to learn water polo and learn all the fundamentals and I really love teaching the kids what the water polo is and how much I love it. It means everything to me. I mean I love the sport. I love the community around it. I mean the people in the sport is just great. Whether it's the kids from Saybrook and all the Naperville North kids or the kids even at Oakhurst in my hometown. I love the whole part of water polo and being a part of it is all I can really ask for.